Hello, hi, good morning, how you doing? It is Jim, it is I, I'm back, it is uh, the next day, whatever the last day was, <laughs> it is Monday, today is Tuesday, and we are continuing with the second side of Pictures at an Exhibition, the live album from Emerson, Lake and Palmer, um, their interpretation of a suite of music by Mazorski, um, and apparently, according to the comments, uh, a couple of other um, people as well. So this is, um, as I say, side two. We've got <laughs> Promenade again for the third time, uh, The Hut of Baba Yaga, uh, The Curse of Baba Yaga, then we have The Hut of Baba Yaga again, and The Great Gates of Kiev. Um, and then I think... There is a, a bit on the end, which I'm guessing is like an encore, uh, which is uh, a <laughs> ELP version of uh, the Nutcracker. Uh, it's the Tchaikovsky piece, I think. Um, oh, no, it's got Kim Foley. I don't know. Okay, maybe not then. Well, I don't know what that is then. Uh, so it says Nutrocker. But I thought it was uh, a version of the Nutcracker. Anyway, until we listen to it. We don't know, do we? Hey, right. Um, yes. Let's go. <clears throat> there we go again. This is, really is a very, very good recording. Sounding excellent. I'm guessing this is uh, I'll say the Baba Ganoush, that's like completely different, isn't it? Uh, the hut of Baba Yaga. Everybody always talks about uh, Keith Emerson's keyboard work, but listen to Carl Palmer and to Greg Lake's bass as well. It's fantastic. Oh. Wow. 
Drop a stick now. Wow.
I really don't know which... Uh, which... Well, that's Mazorski again, isn't it? Prelude. Uh, prologue. Promenade. Get it right, Jim. I'm muse now. I'm getting a plug-in baby. Awesome. Crowd goes wild.
Sounds a little slightly cheesy. <laughs> interesting uh, aspect of this band that they do these really epic quite serious heady pieces of music and they throw in these sort of crazy this is pretty cool just sort of very light fun bits as well I get more? I don't think I do. I think I could have done without that last bit on there. <laughs> the nut nut rocker. Um, yeah, you know, it was, it was quite fun. And as I, I was saying, it's, it's, it is a bit of a hallmark of uh, Emerson, Lake and Palmer that they have these real sort of throwaway, fun, silly songs. Uh, on their albums, mixed in with these really sort of quite big, heady, and epic pieces. Uh, so I suppose it's like two sides of a coin. You've got a really serious and straight-faced, proper musician side, and then they've just sort of, you know what? We're we're people. We want to have fun as well. So why not? And it's uh, it's absolutely a hallmark. On I think on two or three of their records I've listened to now that they've got these sort of. Um, just sort of random, oh, ooh, where did that come from? I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, so that's, that's, uh, if I hadn't had that on there, it probably wouldn't have been Emerson, Lake and Palmer, would it? It's kind of uh, it's a <laughs> calling card. Um, so, I don't know where we were in the running order as we were going through those tracks. I don't know where one started and one finished. Um, it kind of all seamlessly blended together. So, uh, but overall, it was uh, I just it is a side of music, which is a big piece of a big a big single piece of music to me. Um, there were elements of okay, I called it uh, I don't know what I called it, but it, promenade came back again uh, a couple of times. It was a, um, very obviously at the beginning, but then just a little a little sort of hint of it. I think that was in the Great Gates of Kiev at the at, at the end of it. There's um, a little piece in there. God bloody hell. Carl Palmer. What a drummer. Oh my god. He was 
he was he was giving it some on here. Um, not only the little solo bits, but just sort of he didn't have to play such complicated drumming underneath the music, and underneath you know the sort of the 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 rest of the music. He could have just held on a beat, but no, he was going all over the place. My goodness, what a treat! What a treat to have been in the audience to to hear this. Um, very, 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 very good indeed. Was this ever released as a studio thing, or was it only ever a live show they did? And this recording is the document of that. This is the uh, this is the record that they ever performed that and ever played that music. Because uh, if if it's not a studio thing, that's really quite cool. I like that. I like that a lot. That um, it's a one-off thing and it's played in its entirety and there's no overdubs there's no studio trickery and it's we've practiced we've practiced and practiced for months and months and months do this performance and then it's finished it's gone it's forever done and they'll never never do it again that's fantastic i don't know if that is quite the case but uh if it is i like that a lot um I am very aware there is a lot more ELP that I've not listened to. We've got a brain salad surgery for one, uh, works one and works two. Um, what have I listened to? I've listened to Trilogy, haven't I? And I've listened to Tarkus, and I've listened to a bit of a live album. Um, have I listened to any more? I can't remember. I cannot remember, but I do know there is quite a bit more to listen to. So um, it's exciting. It's all good stuff. There we go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, at some point, there'll be some more ELP on the channel. Probably won't be for a few weeks, if not months, because, you know, don't, don't like sort of load stuff up too much. We'll sort of uh, go and do a load more other stuff, but we'll come back to them. Come back to them. Yes, we will. I'll see you all on the next video, whenever and whatever that is. And until then, this is Jim, over and out.